Okay, so you'd think that um, let's use this line to maybe fade in and fade out. Wouldn't that work? So let's try it. Uh, from uh, 0 to 1 in 1 second or something. Okay, so let's try that and try to listen to this. Oops, no, I did not to put the line. That was a mistake, so we'll go like this and go like that. Let's try this. Okay, here. Do you hear like a, a weird weird noise? So that is not a right thing to do. And in this case, you want to multiply the signal, so you want to use something called line tilde, like this. So in this case, you just do this instead of that. And Let's try again. Now it's zero. Multiply by nothing right now until I click on this message. So, see? Nice. Right? No um, strange interruption. Oops. Here. Oh, noise. So I want to go back to one from one to zero. Maybe I don't need, even need a decimal point here. And kind of a fast. Let's see if I can do it without the decimal point. Okay, here. It's getting a little crowded. We don't need to see this anymore. Okay, here. Okay. Yeah. So. Right? Nice. That's a uh, line tilde. Now, um, you can have two boxes like this. Before we go any further, we have to do something about Oops, typed wrong. Okay, here, message box. Something to do with the message box. This is a lesson on something called dollar one, which um, many of my students is, uh, say they hate it, and just think of it as x in ma uh, math. So this is a, a variable. Um, so for example, if I say dollar one. Just bear with me and 500. Okay, and let's see this line. Um, just a line, normal line. It's fine. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do a decimal point one that we, we just saw in here. The same thing. Okay, so I'm going to do this and there. Okay, what does this mean? So variable means that it can be anything, right? So I can substitute with one or zero or anything. So let's say, um, okay, so we'll put some kind of a number in here. Um, let's watch here, okay. So I have zero right now and I'm sending one into this message box. It gets replaced by one, so look, did you see that? Okay, I'm going to go back to zero here, right here, watch, and watch here now. You see the made a ramp between one and zero? Okay, if I make this a little longer so you can see better, yeah, five seconds. And um, we can do one, two, three, four, five, see, one, two, three, four, five. That was too fast. <laughs> but anyway, so we can do that. Uh, if you're doing to do one and zero, oops, I really need to close. Instead of a number box, you can actually attach a toggle, which is one or zero, right? So here, uh, again, the little review on toggle. Toggle is on or off, non-zero or zero. In this case, one, or zero. I'm too impatient for waiting for five seconds, so I'm just going to make this into like one second. And now, as we saw, 
uh, instead of a line, I'm going to go to line tilde and let's see nothing because there's no uh, argument that's next to line so see on off on off right? in this case um, these two and these two does exactly the same thing except on the way off um, this one has a faster um, fade out fade in fade out this one has a fade in and fade out the same amount of ramp time on fade in fade out these two this combination of two and this combination two does the same thing okay so that's line tilde okay line tilde so there's a line uh, in, for integer line 0 point for um, a smooth glissandi especially used uh, usually in frequency I'm sending a frequency number with M to F right MIDI to frequency converting or line uh, tilde so there are three forms of line to remember for the line uh, without a um, decimal you can actually use it to do something like um, you know make note I have no idea what this is going to be like. Maybe it's too high. Uh, let's see. No doubt. So remember this. Uh, let's see. Um, it's going to be too too high. Maybe I have no idea. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. You can do that all day. Okay. 